Hey, you guys. It's been about three weeks since I made a video. Thank you for clicking on this video. So, it is about 8.21. Of course, I was at work today. But I got to get this video out. I swear, I've been trying to, I've been wanting to make this video since last week. And I just haven't. I said, you know what? I'm off tomorrow. Let me get this video out. So, I recorded this video, and for some reason, I couldn't upload it, so I'm I'm, I'm going to record it on the computer sitting on my table, so we're going to see how this goes. But anyways, first of all, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I was in a particular religion. Like I said, even though I talked about that situation, my channel is not going to be based on that religion. That's just my experience, and I was going to say something so y'all can know what's up. But you know I just got out of a particular religion and didn't know where to go from there, didn't know what to believe, but I just know I'm not going to turn into no atheist, and I'm not going to be no in-betweener. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all like, what is the in-betweener? Then people that be like, well, I believe in a higher power, but I don't really know who. I don't have time for that. I believe in the God who sit in the heavens, who made heaven and earth, and who sent us Jesus Christ. That's who I believe in. Okay? I'm very specific. So, with that being said, um, just trying to learn more, pray more, listen to what he's telling me, everything. Like, I'm just trying to take up as much information as possible. So I said all that to say. Last week, yeah, last week, I was at work. And so, we just go use, like, a Walmart, for example. I don't work at a Walmart, but we just go use Walmart, for example. You know how you have the people who work in the building, and then you have the people who work outside, and they clean up the parking lot, they get the bags, with blah, blah, blah. So you know how you have the, the outskirts, you know, it's the property of the store, but it's the outskirts, like, by the street. So basically, that's kind of like where I was at. I was like on the outskirts of the property. Now, this happened last week. So, came in as usual, gathered all my stuff, had like the big condola, which is like a big trash can or whatever. So I'm just walking the property like I always do. And so I would say maybe like 20, 30 minutes into my shift, it was like these thoughts was popping in my head. And it was so heavy. And I immediately like started tearing. Like at, at, about, at about five minutes, I started tearing up because it was like I already knew what was about to happen. I knew that I was going to have to listen to these thoughts for an hour, two hours, all day, all day to night. I mean, I already know what it's like, a.k.a. depression, okay, or B.K.A. depression. Okay, we already know what depression is. 2019, they have already defined for us what depression is. So we're going to say it was depression. Okay. So when I was about eight or nine, kid you not, I used to pray. And I mean like at night, in the middle of the night, I would wake up crying in the middle of the night. And I would pray to God to just take my life because I was so tired of hearing all these things in my head, and it was, it's depressing, it's too much. Like, I was eight, nine years old praying to God to just take my life. I thank God every day he did not, but that was what I was doing at eight, nine years old, like, because the thought is just too much. Mind you, I'm 29 right now, so that's about 22, 23 years. I'm going to be 30. It's about 23 years that I've been having to listen to the thoughts. Some people might not understand what depression is like, and they judge you, and they 
think you're just laying in bed all day just because you're lazy. Most of the time, it's it's not that. You know, you have goals in life, and you can't. You just can't. I know what that feels like. I know what it's like when you just stuck in bed. Depression is like, if I could just, you know, try to break it down, help somebody understand. It's like somebody took you, put you in a chair, tied you to the chair for 24 hours, and they spewed out calling you ugly, comparing you to other people. You're nothing. Nobody wants you. Nobody loves you. You're going through all this. It's your fault. You're never going to make it. Um, you know, bringing up the past. You might be over already what happened, but it just keeps, it, oh, excuse me, say, you just, it just keeps coming up. Your past just keep coming up and you have moved on already. And it's like you keep having a hear and you're like, I don't care, but it just keep popping up. You just imagine being strapped to the chair. And the things that you stress about, worry about, mad about, angry about, somebody just spewing that at you for 24 hours, calling you ugly. You ain't nothing. You ain't never going to be nothing. Don't nobody love you. You will lose your mind. I have been going through that mental hell for 23 years, listening to that. That is annoying. It is tiring. So... Back to where I was last week. So when it came up and I started hearing the thoughts pop up in my head because it's so heavy, I started tearing up. I started tearing up because I already knew. Like I said, I, I've been through this for so long, I already know what it feel like. So something popped in my head and it told me to pray him away. Pray Satan away. Pray him away. So I'm like, okay, whatever works. Because I'm like, I don't have a solution. I don't have a solution. I don't have no solution. So I said, okay, I'm going to do it. So remind you, I'm on the outskirts of the property. So, you know, I wipe my little tears off because now I got to walk in the building. So I get in the building. I go in the bathroom sat down on the toilet, and I just, you know, I bowed my head. I did my hands like this. So I had my elbows on my legs, and I did this. I bowed my head, and I started praying. And I said, I don't know if it's me, if it's my thoughts. I need you to stop my own thoughts so I don't have to go through this today. But if it's the enemy, if it's Satan, get him away from me. Get him out of my head. Get him out my ear. Get him out my mouth. Get him away from my eyesight. Get him away. I don't want him here. I don't want him around me. He is not welcomed around me. I want some peace. I need some peace today. Heavenly Father, get him away from here. I do not want him here. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. But now I say in Jesus Christ's name, amen. But I said in Jesus' name, amen. Babe, when I'm praying, I mean business. Do you hear me? So I said that prayer in the bathroom. This happened last week. So I walked out the bathroom. About time I got back to where I was on the outskirts originally. Tell me why my head just felt clear, like clear as day, like the cloud, the dark cloud was gone, just, I'm like, what happened, where was the thought, where is it, I'm like, my mind is clear, so I say, you mean to tell me 23 years, I've been listening to him, the enemy, and his minions, Telling me stuff, and all I had to do was pray him away, and didn't nobody tell me? You mean to tell me, didn't nobody tell me? See, this is what happens when you're in a religion that ain't really teaching you nothing. I've been going through this for 23 years, since I was 8 years old, praying to God to take my life, kind of want to take my own life, and all I had 
had to do was pray him away. So uh, the point of making this video is when it comes to depression, they tell you to go to a therapist, get on some medication. You do not need no medication. See, I've always been told that I need medication for depression, but something in me kept saying, I don't need no medication. I don't need no medication. I am fine. Now, I might be thrown off a little bit. I might be missing some screws here and there, but I don't need no medication. I know I don't need no medication. But now, but how do I get rid of this? I don't know. What's going on? I don't know, but I know I don't need no medication. All I had to do was pray him away. And when I tell you he left, about time I made it back to the outskirts, he was gone. So, today's Saturday. So I get to work on, now this happened last week, so I get to work Wednesday, this past Wednesday. Went to, went, went to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I come into work, people asking me, how you doing this morning? I'm like, you know what, I'm actually okay. But they don't know, I'm surprised that I, my mind is clear. Like, I don't have these thoughts all day long. Like, I've been trying to say that I've been trying to pray that over my life every day. If I gotta do it five times a day, I do it five times a day. Because he's been doing it for so long, I know he's gonna come back. So I, I try to keep praying it. Now I'm gonna have to up my prayer game, but for now I'm I try to say that prayer as much as possible. Any bad thought I say that prayer. If I gotta say it 25 times a day, I keep saying it because he's gonna keep coming back. I'm surprised that my mind is clear. I don't even know what that feel like. I'm just... He been taking over my brain so much, I don't even know what it's like to have a clear mind. This the first time in a long time my mind been clear. I don't even know what to think about. Have you ever heard that? I don't even know what to think about. It's like, you know, have you ever watched them movies or them TV shows and they talk about somebody that's just empty in their brain? Like, do you think about anything like your brain is just empty? That's how I feel. It's like empty space. It's like empty space in my brain that's been used up. I'm like, what do I do? What do I think about? What do I think about? What do I want to think about? That's how long he been taking over my brain. That's how much of my brain he was taking over. Took my power away. Do you? I told you who I believe in. I believe in God who sit in heaven. Okay? The heavenly father. Okay? He put me down so much he took my power. Well, he didn't take my power. He just made me believe that I didn't have none. But see, now I'm getting my power back. I'm getting my power back so I can use it against him the right way. Pray him away. I'm getting my power back. I'm getting my power back, and I'm not going back. I ain't going to turn into no doggone atheist. I'm not going to turn into no in-between. I don't have time for that. I have to keep going forward. I don't know if y'all ever heard if somebody somebody talking about this. That when it comes to, you know, the spirit realm, they do, kind of like high job, you know how they do shift changes? Like, somebody might do something this part of time, and then they do a shift change in this person. So it's almost like a job. So I've heard this before. I don't know. I don't tap into the spirit realm. I don't know what happens there. I'm not there. Almost like they do a shift change. I'm starting to believe it. Because... I could get up in the morning and these thoughts just start and it can continue on till nighttime. I can't go to sleep. It's on me. This is all day. These thoughts are going, they got to be doing shift changes on me. But somebody messed up this time. Somebody messed up two times. Somebody messed up. Somebody uh had me locked up in a cage and dropped the key, and I took that key and unlocked it, and I came up out that cage. I took my power back. I wasn't playing. I'm not going back. Baby, I've been praying. I've been uh, praying somebody. 
but I'm going to extend that just a little bit because if you watch my channel, you know that I am a mother. So, if I was being attacked at a young age, now I have to consider my son could be possibly being attacked. And he probably is. So now I have to not over, not only pray over myself, I have to pray over my son several times a day. I have to pray that he get out of his ear, get out of his brain, so he can just be a little boy. He can just be happy. He can, cause I hear him speaking the same way that I was speaking. That feeling hopeless, feeling like. Why am I alive? Like, you're a little kid. You should just be happy. Like, you have no bills. You don't pay rent. You don't have to work. You don't have to change no tires. Like, you should just be happy. I have to pray over my son. Because he after my son. I've been a praying somebody. Like, no, I wake up in the middle of the night praying kid you not I have to when I when this bit when I get done posting this video I got to pray over my son and I did it was that last night last night or the night before last I woke up in the middle of the night and because for some reason I don't know why he told me that he has bad dreams I'm like why are you having bad dreams and the bad dream that he had was some crazy mess I said you ate you should not be dreaming like that I woke up in the middle of the night and I don't know if it was because he was sleeping next to me. Because normally he sleep in his own bed. He was sleeping next to me. And I just felt bothered in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep or something. I don't know. It was like my dreams was being messed with, but they wasn't. So I said, well, maybe it's him. So I laid my hands on him and I started praying for to pray the enemy away. Get out of his dreams. Get out of his head in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ's name, amen. I have to pray over him all day, all night. But once I did that, I fell asleep and I was good. So I'm hoping he was good after that. I'm not in his dreams. I'm not in his head. I don't know. But I fell asleep after that. But you don't need no medication. Stop letting these people tell you you need medication. I had them all my life. People telling me I need to be on medication. I know I don't need no medication. What I needed was for y'all to pray over me, pray the enemy away from me, at my head. That's what I needed. Nobody did it because I didn't know. Don't take no dog on medication because if it helped with it, all the people that's on the medication would be better. They're not better. None of them is better. And they've been taking it for so long, they immune to it. You don't need no medication. Get him out of your ear. That's what you need to do. It's plain and simple. So you've been wondering why you can't, why you can't focus, why you miserable, why you laying in the bed feeling powerless? Yeah, because he keep telling you you ain't got no power and you ain't nobody and you ugly and you stupid. You ain't never going to be nobody. You pray him away. Get your power back. Not that you don't have no power. You already got it. He just keep telling you. He keep making you think that you ain't got it, but you already got it. Pray him away all day, every day. All day. I don't care how many times you pray. Do it. You don't need to be on nothing. And I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I never got on no medication. This is the first time I'm just like, seriously, I'm like, what do I do? With all this thinking space, like, what do I think about? That's crazy. I've never heard nobody talk about it the way I do. I have it. Because I'm researching. It's literally like Someone has taken over your brain, and you, once they get out of your head, it's like, what do you do? What do you think about? I'm clear. I'm actually okay when I get up in the morning. Matter of fact, I'm glad I woke up this morning. Matter of fact, I can't wait for the next morning. Just say, thank you, Heavenly Father, you woke me up. It's like I'm a whole nother person. You think I'm going back? Hell. You think I'm going to turn into an atheist? You're crazy. We got stuff coming. Whether or not you want to believe it, things are happening. Things are coming. There are a lot of things you're not going to be able to buy. Stop playing out here in these streets. Y'all playing. 
Y'all out here, you want to party? Okay. Y'all out here, want to sit up here, sell drugs, rob, kill, steal? Okay. There's something bigger coming. You cannot fight the enemy with your hands, because if we could, his ass would have been down. You cannot fight him with your hands. I'm sorry, because if we could, I would be part of that gang myself. You can't fight him with your hands. You can only fight him with your words, praying. It's a lot, a lot of stuff coming, and I know it's coming. You out here trying to be in that big old 20-bedroom house? Okay. I guess, because they going to take that house away. Either Because either you be on, on, on the enemy side, or you be on the side of the Heavenly Father. So, and if they come and they ask you and you renounce God because you want this big old house, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just, I'm just trying to like speak in cold, but not really speak in cold. And I, I don't have time. I'm taking my power back and I'm going to learn to fight the right way. I was in this religion for so long. I just knew I was doomed. My prayers was. God, I know I'm doomed, but just take my baby. Please just take my son. Maybe I, I matter too. He made me too. What you mean? No, I already said he can't have me or my son, baby. I'm fighting the right way for me and my son. I'm not playing out here in the street. I said it in my prayer. I said it out loud. So he know I mean business. Do you hear me? You go get up out of my head, you go get up out of my ear, you go get up out of my mouth, you go get out of my vision, and you go leave my son away. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. I ain't playing no games. I'm he messed up. He messed up. I'm not going back. But see, you know what the weird part is? Because he was in my mind for so long, I isolated myself from everybody. Isolated myself from family. Like, I d don't ask me why. But it worked out in my favor. You know why? Because I left this, I left that religion, and despite what family had to say, I still stood strong because I believe in God over what everybody else is talking about. So the isolation actually worked out in my favor. <laughs> Tip, shh, somebody, come on. Come on. Depression worked out in my favor. I don't care by myself. Oh, well. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Left that religion, baby. I ain't look back. And talk about me all you want to. I don't care. For what? So the isolation actually worked out in my favor because I don't even care what people got to say. So I'm just here to tell you, you don't need no medication. Do not get on no medication. You don't need it. You go let the enemy take over your brain, then turn around and get on medication. Did the medication take over your brain? Come on. No, we don't have time. You need your mind clear. You need to be clear. You need to be able to hear from God. And that's what I'm working on all day, every day. I'm just, I need to hear you. I need to know it's your voice. And not my voice and not the enemy voice. I need to know it's your voice. I need to know the difference. That's, you know what I'm saying? We all do. I ain't playing no games over here, but I just had to. I don't want this video to be too long. It's already 23 minutes. It'll go on 24 minutes. I don't want to stay too long. But I just had to get this video out because this thing with this depression, this bull crap, do not go to no therapist. I don't care what nobody say. Do not put your children on no medication. You need to pray over your children all day, every day. And you pray over yourself. Pray over your family all day, every day. He is in your ear. You don't need no medication. So I hope this, I, even if it help one person, man, look. We need as many people as possible. I'm sounding like I've been going to church fail, but I ain't know. It's like everything is just starting to make sense now. Everything did not make sense. Everything makes sense now. I don't care if I wake up one person. I Somebody, if I have one person, cool. You need to hear from God and you need to figure out.
figure out what it is that he's telling you to do. What do he need you to do? You might be a big old piece that he needs. But how can he use you when the enemy's still in your ear? You might be somebody important. You might be somebody with a lot of money who can who can who can make power moves for God. How can you when you got the devil in your ear? Shit, God dang it, stop playing. He need as many people to use to make moves. Get him out your ear. That's all I'm trying to say. But I'm gonna get up off of here for real, for real, because it's gonna be too long. Thank you for looking at this video, and thank you as always. Thank you for chilling with Nicole. I got a lot more videos coming. I can't make videos too much because God been working on me. He tell me I talk too much. He say I, I, talk, I say too much. So, he working on me. But, forget all that. Thank you for chilling with Nicole. I hope this helps somebody, even if it's just one person. I will see you in the next video.